Mac Matlab. This is my collection of storybooks. I have six of them here. Actually, I had four more, but my friend took them away. I hope she'll return my books. We should always return what we borrow. In mathematics, subtraction is also taking away. Today, we are going to study subtraction using these straws. This is a bundle of 100 straws. This is a bundle of 10 straws and these are some loose straws. Let us form numbers using these bundles. Here I have 3 bundle of 100 straws, 3 bundle of 10 straws and 2 loose straws. So what number do I form? Yes, 332. And now here I have 1 bundle of 100 straws, 1 bundle of 10 straws and I have 8 loose straws. So this forms 118. So we are going to subtract 118 from 332. We know that we always start subtraction from one's place. So from two straws, if I have to take away eight straws, it is not possible. So what I'll do is I will open one of my bundles of 10 straws and place them with it. So now how many straws do I have here? I have 12 straws here. So out of 12 straws, I have to take away 8 straws. So when I'm taking away 8 straws out of 12 straws, how many straws will be left here? We will be left with 4 straws. So let us write 4 in 1's place. Next, I have to take away a 1 bundle of 10 straws from 2 bundle of 10 straws. So if I am taking away 1 bundle of 10 straws from 2 bundle of 10 straws, I will be left with 1 bundle of 10 straws. So let us write 1 in 10's place. Next we move on to 100's place. From 3 bundle of 100 straws, I have to take away 1 bundle of 100 straws. That means what will I be left with? I will be left with 2 bundle of 100 straws. So I get 214. I hope children you understood subtraction through regrouping using these straws. Yes, it was interesting, right?